Good evening, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters. My name is Philip Cox. I'm 36 years old, and I live here in Homa with my wife and two boys. But let me rewind a little and take you back how, to, how it all started. Back in the mid-70s, a man from New Orleans, Louisiana named Paul was introduced to a lady from a small island called Taiwan. Believe it or not, they were introduced through mutual friends. After two phone calls and four letter exchanges, that man flew to Taiwan and those, they were married. And those two parents were, I'm sorry, those two people were my parents. Fast forward to 1977, and I was born at a small hospital called St. Jude in Fullerton, California. Second oldest of four kids, three, three boys and one girl. Now, even though I was born in Fullerton, I don't remember much of Fullerton because I was only two when we moved from Fullerton. We moved from Fullerton and we settled in a small town called Houston, Texas. Some of you may have heard of it. <laughs> we nestled into a middle-class neighborhood in a two-story house, and even though we never really had much money, my memories growing up there were very good memories. I can remember riding my bike through the neighborhood when it was safe back then to do so. I can remember playing in the treehouse that my dad had built for us, and also shooting basketball in the goal, the basketball goal that my dad had erected for us. So my memories there were very good memories. Around the late 80s, my grandpa grew ill, and my dad made the decision that we were going to move from Homa, I'm sorry, from Houston, back to South Louisiana. So that's what we did. We packed up our things and we moved from Homa, I'm sorry, from Houston back to Homa. Now, it was a bit of a culture shock for me moving from the fourth largest city in the United States to a small town home, like Homa. But I made the adjustment, and upon arrival into uh, Homa, I registered at a school called Bream Ecolata, a local Catholic school. Around that same time, I also enlisted in, uh, in karate and was able to, to obtain a black belt in karate. After Bream Ecolata, I enlisted at Vanderbilt Catholic. Now, I always, found, I always found school challenging from an academic standpoint, but not because I was dumb or any less intelligent than the next student, because I never really saw the point in school. I never really was into what the teacher was, was saying. But I managed to graduate in 1997, and upon, a upon graduation, I enrolled at Nichols State University. After two years of business administration at Nickel State, I decided to drop out and start working for the family business, doing awnings for commercial and residential buildings. A few years after that, I decided to take on a night job because, as most people, you can never make enough money, right? So now I'm working awnings during the day and my night job. I started to neglect sleep and I started to take my health my mental health and my physical health for granted and I began a decade-long battle with depression and anxiety. Um, during that, that decade also we lost a younger brother to cancer at the age of 22. Now most people see depression and anxiety as a, as a bad thing but I, I see it as a good thing because I've used it to better myself. It's taught me a lot about myself, it's taught me a lot about life one of the most important things it's taught me is to live in the now and not worry about the future and dwell in the past. And some of the things today that help me keep grounded in the, in, the, in the present is my wife, my two boys, and running the family businesses. So while the last decade has been challenging to say the least, I stand here today as a, a much better person. I look forward to the future. I look forward to what life has to offer me and my family. I look forward to spending more good times with them. And my challenge to you is, when you encounter hardship in life, don't see it as a, as a bad thing. See it as a wise teacher springing up out of nowhere, ready to teach you where you're off in life, ready to teach you where you need to change. And I think if you can continually do that, life's challenges will make you better instead of bitter. Thank you.